today we're going to be going over how to true your ballistic data without using a chronograph. So really what it consists of is uh, getting 100 yard zero and then picking a far distance, let's say 600 yards, which is what I'm gonna be using today, we're basically assuming that we have no idea what our feet per second of that ammunition is. So to simulate that, I actually grabbed some uh, federal gold medal match uh, with the Berger 130 grain bullets. This is for 6.5 Creedmoor. And um, this, this uh, stated muzzle velocity is 28.75. Now we all know the box is never, it's never, correct. So I'm going to show you the method that I know to get a 100 yard zero, then get a 600 yard zero, measure the offset, and then we're going to go back to my computer and we're going to punch in the numbers that we got out here today and we're going to figure out what the actual muzzle velocity is based on the drop data that we see. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get our 100 yard zero. I'll take three shots. Bear with me here. All right guys, so I'm not sure how well you can see it on the, on the camera there, I'll probably zoom in on it. But I ended up with a half inch group um, out of this Federal Gold Medal Match boxed ammo. So what we want to do at this stage uh, on our zero is just go ahead and measure, you know, in inches how far off we are from the center of our aiming point and record that data. That'll help us get our 100 yard zero roughly for this, uh, for this test. All right, let's go ahead and get our second shot group, three shots here, and uh, then we'll go down and see how we did. Bear with me. As you can see, still a pretty good grouping. We've, uh, we've centered everything up. Let's go ahead and measure it just for uh, kicks and giggles here. Looks like this group is measuring a little closer to 3 8 Just fairly impressive to me um, out of uh, Federal Gold Medal Match boxed ammunition for the first time using it. Um, so maybe I've got a new match load, I don't know. But uh, I'm pretty impressed with that. We're gonna call that our hard zero. Next, we're gonna stretch it out to 600 yards and see what we got. So I initially said uh, 600 yards is what I was gonna test it at, but I wasn't thinking about how much drop that would be. Um, in actual inches and I didn't bring a big enough piece of cardboard and I ended up having to move it into 400 yards um, to get hits. Uh, not ideal but still will give a pretty good indication of, of the test. Um, ideally you want you know that 700 to 1000 yard for your for your far test but this will still make the point and still teach you how to do this uh, without a um, without a chronograph. Alright guys here I am shooting that three shot group at 400 yards there was no wind to speak of uh, that I needed to hold for, so uh, let's go ahead and shoot this and we'll run down and see what we got. Alright guys, you can see we've got our group here down at the bottom of the cardboard piece. So now that we've gotten a decent group um, at this yard range, we're gonna go ahead and measure the distance from my point of aim, which happened to be the top dot in this case, right up here. Okay, so from that point, we see our drop at 400 yards with no adjustment whatsoever in the scope, all the way down to here. And we're gonna go ahead and measure the number of inches uh, from the center of our group up to our aiming point. Looking like right at 24 inches. So now that gives me some data. I'll go back and figure some numbers and we'll be able to tell exactly what our velocity of this ammunition is under these conditions at this distance. So now that we're back from the range, we've got our drop data uh, in hand. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, and bring that into this ballistics calculator from, uh, from gunworks.com. I just like it because it's so simple, you can hardly get it wrong. Um, so I've got my 6.5 Creedmoor punched in here already. I've already got the bullet uh, BC and the, uh, the weight figured out and the, uh, the suggested muzzle velocity from the box uh, was 28.75. I've got my environmental data plugged in 
and my uh, my zero data plugged in. So now what we're going to do on this calculator in particular is go to trajectory validation and again load data, site in data, environmental data, but what we're really after here and this is how we're going to figure our our actual muzzle velocity um, so that we can get a drop chart uh, without using a chronograph and that is our far yard uh, our far yardage. So um, we're going to type in 400 since that was what we shot at today uh, I am going to click MOA and I am going to type 6 because as you remember we were at 400 yards, we measured 24 inches, 4 times 6, 24 and uh, when we hit the calculate button this number should be somewhere right around 2900 feet per second. Let's go ahead and take a look. 2904. So our actual muzzle velocity uh, with that ammunition out of my particular rifle is 2904. You'll notice it's a little bit higher than the box. Um, I would imagine uh, that they were using a 24 inch barrel um, when they did their testing and mine is a 26 inch barrel um, and so I'm, I'm assuming that's where that extra you know 25 ish feet per second came from. And we can also um, now we can take this data we've got this we can add value to the program now it, it types in the correct muzzle velocity for us, 2904 feet per second. And then we can go up here to drop chart, click that, and we can specify what we want. So um, I'm going to do 50 yard increments, and for our range, uh, I'm going to just say out to 600 yards, and we're going to hit calculate. And now we've got our drop chart, um, you know, corrected for uh, actual muzzle velocity of that round through my rifle. And we can take this dope chart and uh, we can get to the field and it would be pretty darn close. Now it's not going to be exact, you know, from day to day you've got different variables that come into play, uh, you know, density, altitude and things like that that change um, based on the atmospherics. Uh, but this will get you close, you know, this, let's call this our tri-dope. And then you got to get out to the field and, uh, and actually see what it's doing. Uh, as always, thanks for watching Precision Rifle Network. Tune in next week uh, for another great video.